be living a dream life today. You know, knocked down at 43 years of age with heart failure. You know, I have always been a hard working uh, guy all my life. Uh, I've been a hardcore everything all my life. And uh, let me tell you, it was almost a blessing in disguise having heart failure. I get a great disability because my insurance company totally messed up my uh, my claim. So it's allowed me and my uh, caretaker and my son to move abroad where there is no LVAD center in sight. I think I believe the closest one is in Chile, I believe. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, I go back to Canada to the Edmonton uh, Alberta Health, uh, Heart Institute, the Mazinkowski Heart Institute. He's done x-rays, uh, like a full 3D head scan. You know, those x-rays are uh, worth a lot of money. It cost me $95 here, and I got uh, $100 of coverage with Blue Box. Stephanie's uh, a really amazing lady over at uh, Blue Box. Box. I'll put a link in uh, the description to uh, to their company and uh, gonna look at a dental plan to uh, fix up my terrible mouth from years of abuse so anyways living a pretty good life today uh, here in Ecuador man it's uh, I gotta pinch myself on the regular. Uh, you know, 28 degrees practically every day here in Manta. I don't think I've seen rain at all. Uh, maybe very, very, very lightly for a, for a few minutes. But uh, a lot of rich, a lot of rich people here. I seen a Bugatti a couple of days ago. I've seen beggars. I've seen the poorest of the poor. I've seen mega rich people. Even one guy. Apparently, he's a tuna boat captain because Matt is the tuna boat or the tuna. It's a tuna industry here in Manta. So he's the captain of a fishing boat. And he, uh, I guess he makes enough money, he got his own helicopter. <laughs> he parked it on his roof of his house. We actually lived in uh, that urbanization for a while uh, here in Manta. Anyways, I've had to delete my last two videos because, uh, well, one for a friend of mine. Don Shader. It was about renting uh, properties here and how you need to uh, supply a first and last month's deposit of which you apparently never see again. We've moved four times in one year here since we've been here. Uh, for Airbnb, a week here, a couple weeks there till we found a house we could uh, get a year's lease at. We recently moved out of that house and into another urbanization, into another home. This time we're well prepared, or gonna be well prepared, taking photos of every little thing that's done. Because unlike some of the expats here, uh, they just take it straight up the ass dry. They won't rock the boat. They won't. They'll just. They'll just forget about it. They'll just say, "Oh, okay. You want to keep it?" Well, typically the idea is you don't pay the last month's rent. That way you uh, get back some of your damage deposit. Um, but they'll pick apart every single thing they can. Um, so this is a video about, I guess, standing up for yourself and uh, doing what is right, what feels right, what is right by law, legally right by law. And, uh, you know, not only that, but uh, there's some, uh, there's actually an American woman here with dual citizenship that will uh, help you get your visa, so-called help you get your visa, 
if she doesn't rip you off. Her initials are DC. They have a huge slander law here, so I can't give you her full name. But uh, I would not suggest using her because hit and miss, you may not get your money back. She stole all our documents and uh, all $1,400 of my money. I ended up getting it all back. I had to send someone to her home in Novi, Michigan to get it back, but I did get it back. So stand up for yourself, man, you know, for what is right. You know, if, it's, if it doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. I, I know that probably better than anybody, man. Anyways, this channel is more to inspire people with a left ventricular assist device to think their lives are over, your life is not over. All depends on how you look at it and how it affects you and uh, how you carry yourself and what you're gonna do with your life after you get hooked up and uh, live on batteries. I currently have no problem other than myself. So I guess I just should stay out of my way. <laughs> Anyways, peace. I love you all. And I'm not deleting this video. I don't give a shit. You want the truth, you'll find it here on Ecuador Ron Real.